Hello guys, welcome back to Gaming Flow and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection is having an issue with crashing It won't launch or not launching Freezing, stuttering, lagging Low FPS drop Stuck on loading screen And even many more issues which is happening for many of these right now And how we can fix this up So let's dive into the workaround The first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here do a simple restart so just click on the start icon go to the power icon do a restart once the restart is done just try launch the game if that is not the case we have to move to the next one next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder not from the steam so most of us launch the game from steam that is why we end up in having issue so we need to launch the game from the installation folder for this we just need to go over here in the game right click go to the properties install it file and just click on the browse so if you check over here at the top that is this pc local c program file x86 steam steam amps common battle just now we have to launch the game from here this is what we have to do apart from this launch the game we can also try two more steps hence within the installation folder that is we have to run the game as an administrator try running the game as an administrator and also we have to run the game in the compatibility mode just go over here in the game right click go to the show more option go to the properties go for compatibility click on run the game in the compatibility mode the first one either you can run the game on windows 8 or you can try running on windows 7 as well once afterwards just go to this one run this program as an administrator go over here apply and go for ok and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to launch the game apart from this we have to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard i don't know how this is related but even in my knowledge it helped many users so just hit on the play button and press alt and launch alt and tab together so it might fix some issues such as won't launch a stuck on loading screen and that is might be helping guys using this app if that is not the case we will move to the fourth step that is all about we have to make sure the date time and region is correct go to the settings go for time and language go to the date and time make sure all these three things turn it on we have to go back and go to the language and region make sure that you have selected country according to geography for example, if you're from United States, you have to select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to select United Kingdom and you have to do it accordingly. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and we have to try launch the game. And that is what we have to do. Next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file. Just go over here in the file explorer. We have to navigate to this PC, go to the documents. And over here, as you can see, there are a lot of folders over here. In the same way, you have to find the folder for the Star Wars. And if you find the folder, delete the folder. And once you delete it, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. But even though that is fine, we have to launch the game once again. Or you have to start the scratch or start the game from the scratch. And also, you have to try. Next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the game. Go over here search for control panel search for control panel like this go over here now we have to navigate to the system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow and app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to s because it start with star wars so just keep scrolling down and navigate to s so over here as you can see here the game make sure both the private and both the public both has to be marked or else you'll be having the trouble you have to mark private and public as it is once afterwards just close this and we have to go back try launch the game so allowing the game to windows security is a very important step and it helped with many users that is why i'm sharing it with you guys next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of external devices which means external joysticks might be connected or any other peripherals might be connected which even causing the issue up so just unplug everything once everything is unplugged launch the game after the game is launched just connect it back and try continue playing the game with the controllers or whatever it is and we'll be fine with that next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here go over here and search for system configuration search for system configuration now we have to navigate to the services, go for disable all, go for hide all microservices, go for apply and go for ok. Now we have to go for 
exit without restart because I am here middle in the shooting. So the users who are watching this go for a restart. So once you ex uh, run with the restart, go back to the game the moment, then try launch the game. Sometimes this might help. If that is not the case, don't get panicked. We have few more steps. That is all about we have to disable the steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, install it file, not the install it file. Just keep it in the general. Make sure if it is enabled, we have to turn this off. We have to turn this off. Once afterwards, try launch the game. If that is not the case, we have to go over here in the for come given the commands in the launch option, which is a very important step. The first command is DX11. Start with giving the command in the DX11. If DX11 is not working, start with giving the command DX12. Either the DX11 will be working or we have to try with DX12. Any one of the things will be working fine in my knowledge, in my experience. I'm stating you this. This is definitely going to help you guys out or else you can move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the game, search for graphics settings, search for the graphics settings, click on the graphics settings. Right now, as you can see, there are a lot of games I have already added in the same way we have to add the game. So just go over here, click on the browse. Now we have to navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for steam over here. Now navigate to steam apps, go to the common. Now from here we have to keep on scrolling down and navigate to S. So it start with Star Wars, not Starship Troop Extermination. We have to go for Star Wars. Okay, so, uh, so not this one, uh, not Star Siege. Uh, where is it? Go up a little bit. So we have to check this one. Star Wars Battlefront Collect Classic Collection. Right? So we have to keep scrolling down. Saints and Row, Starship, Star Siege, Sync it. I'm not able to find it. I don't know how. Let me do this. Right click, go to the properties. Uh, just go to install it file and click on the browse. Steam apps, Steam common, battle. Okay. So just click close this. Go over here. Click on here. This PC, local to C, program file x86. Steam, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to find Starship. So where is it? Okay. Battlefield. Okay. okay, this is what it is. Battle. Now this is what it is. Okay, this, so this is the file. So just click on this one. Go for add it. So uh, it is already added. The battle is it's already added. Uh, and if you it's already added, just do like this. What you need to do is we just need to change it. So uh, not this one. Okay, let me do one thing. I think there is how this are edited out. Oh, battle friend. Okay, so here it is already added. That is why I'm getting that I'm sorry. So just click on the option. So this is let Windows decide, change this to high performance and go for save. Once you save this, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch in the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here in the search, go for view advanced system setting, go to the advanced and go for settings, advanced once again, go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk C. Go for custom size, set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here. Now we need a calculator, so just go over here in the calculator, type your RAM. So 32 GB is my RAM and I have to multiply it with the 1024, that is a constant value. Multiply it with 1.5, okay sorry, multiply, let me do one thing, 32 GB multiplied with, so that's not the case, 32 GB is my RAM, multiply with a constant value 1024, that brings you this one into 1.5, that brings you 14 and 152 and copy this and we have to paste it. The maximum size is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 
and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 3 not 4 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it go for ok once everything has been set just go back and try launching the game still if you are having the trouble and you are not able to fix the issue up you can also try updating the windows so just go over here in the search go for settings go to windows update and make sure the windows is up to date or else we will be having the trouble once the windows is up to date just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the nvidia as well as to the amd the nvidia users has to go over here and we'll be able to find the folder and you have to select everything like product type should be selected product series should be selected product should be selected operating system should be selected according to your configuration and now go for a start search and now from here as you can see once you go for start search you'll be getting this option 551.76 is the driver version download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game on the md users just go over here select everything and go for submit and if you are over here on windows 11 download this one and if you're on windows 10 try downloading this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game you can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus which i'll be providing over here we can navigate to this and the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one as well you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual, um, uh, the DirectX, which even helped a few users. So try this one as well. So just go to the link, which I'll be providing there. Download this one and install. Restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, we have two very important steps. One is we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. Just go over here in the manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you should not be installing it back on local disk C. You have to try a new local disk and that is what we have to do. The last and the least step is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, click on the installed file and verify integrity of game file, which is going to take a little bit of time. And once it's reached 100 percentage, and I'll be showing you what you have to do next.
and now afterwards just close everything and try launch the game and that will be okay fine and these possible workarounds can be done i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye